All right, what's going on? And today I'm going to be giving y'all my top five horror movie, scary movie category movie list or whatever. I don't know, but I'm going to be giving y'all my top five scary horror movie to me. Not in order because that's too much to try to rank one ahead of another. I'm going to give you my top five. Um, A little bit about me. I like my scary movies dark and twisted. I like this. I like blood. I like to see a lot of blood. No survivors. Like I hate when scary movie horror movies have happy endings. That's like like what was the point? Like like that. Like it makes no sense. Like um, but I'm not I'm not gonna ramble too much about that. I'm gonna get straight into my uh, top five. Um, not in order. So off the top of the head. <coughs> I think, I'm, I think I gotta edit that one, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. I hit it wrong. That's it's good. It's a good hit right there. Okay, so number one, like I said, another order. Let's, I'm gonna do Dawn of the Dead. Um, I like zombie movies that I like zombie. I like zombie movies where the zombies run because it it, it makes it more intense. Um, more scary. You can't have no zombie movie where the zombies just walk. You know, you can just, you know what I'm saying, that just, I don't know, just call the military and, you know, you know what I'm saying, we're all safe. You know what I'm saying, that's what I think about walking zombie movies. But when they run, oh, man, you don't know what's going to happen, all this other stuff. So, it's, it's the opposite of The Walking Dead, honestly. Um, I know I don't want to go too much off topic about The Walking Dead, but... The Walking Dead got like nine, ten, I'm a, nine plus seasons. I think um, I stopped watching um, Walking Dead around season six or seven because um, it's a lot and it's pretty much it's it's the same thing every episode. You know, zombies. I, I heard the zombies come. You know, some people die. They 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 shoot and then more zombies come. You know, their um, you know their their position, not their position, but their their campsite is, has been infiltrated because they they're shooting zombies and the more zombies come to the sound and all this other stuff. So, pretty much y'all know y'all know how the Walking Dead is. I don't even know if the dad of the Walking Dead is still even in there. I I don't know, but the last time I seen Walking Dead is when the dude was beaten, beaten upside the head with a spike bat, and that's pretty much where I left off. Pretty much for the most part. Um. But back to the Dawn of the Dead. I like the Dawn of the Dead because, like I said, the zombies run. It's more intense. It's more scary. The plot is alright. The plot is pretty... I don't know. It came out in 2004, so the plot was... I don't know. I don't want to say ahead of its time, but the plot was great, for real. Um, It's about this nurse. Um, It's pretty much about this nurse. Um, Her daughter... Her, her daughter gets bit... I don't know how her daughter... Well, her daughter... Ended up was roller skating outside the house, so a zombie got to her for some reason, and the daughter somehow got in the house, and um, the zombie where where the daughter face was all messed up, and like I think her bottom like it was like a big chunk bit. Now, I don't know, but the daughter bit the dad, and then the wife somehow made it out, ran well, met up with some other people, and and they were um um they were chilling at the um mall. Cause you know the spring, the mall was pretty much locked down. They were pretty much safe. I forgot how well that um the reason that they people were getting killed off because they were trying to sneak to save some other person across the street at um at a gun shop. Um, but like I said, the zombies run, so you it's better just to you know, you know, staying stay inside the, for safety and shelter and all this other stuff before the zombies get to you. So they end up. They, you know, I don't know if it took a whole, it, the, the whole squad pretty much got to the gun, trying to help this dude at the gun, at, um, at the gun shop. So, um, I don't want to, I don't want to take up too much time. Y'all know, I'm pretty sure y'all can Google these movies, but you know, I'm just trying to give y'all a little summary of why I like it and, you know, the plot and everything so I can, so I can give y'all, so I can, you know, give y'all the context of why it's in my top five. But like I said, Down of the Dead was a good little zombie movie. Um, it was an, I forgot, it was a zombie movie with The Rock, I mean, not The Rock, but Batista, um, that came out on Netflix, but, uh, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's off Netflix thing. The way, I, I don't like how Netflix brings movies in, but they don't keep them. 
I know they try to do by ratings and views to keep them up. I don't know, but if Netflix can just buy out a fran a buy out a show, movie, or a franchise and just keep it on Netflix while they add more, Netflix can be like the number one. Cause at this point, I'm pretty sure everybody got Hulu, Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, um, any other streaming app that they you know what I'm saying, um or subscription that they can, you know what I'm saying? But Netflix, Netflix can be number one if they just going to keep on having, I don't want to say mediocre titles on any platform, but, you know, Netflix can be better if they can just keep the stuff that they have and add more. So, um, like I was saying, Donald's the number one. Number two. Um, I don't want to say it's my favorite. No matter of fact, I'm not going to say that one. Um, let me think of something else. I like Evil Dead. I like the original Evil Dead and the remake, the 2013 remake. I think the original Evil Dead came out in like 84, 85 or something like that with Ash. I, I'm pretty sure that y'all not going to know who that is. But if you're watching this and you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. I appreciate it for you knowing what I like. And we're not, we're not knowing what I, what I like, but, you know, I appreciate you for... Catching on to the movies, you know what I'm saying? You're hip if you know about the Evil Dead, original Evil Dead. So, Evil Dead is about the, the original in the remake is about um, some friends, they go to some cabin in the woods, far out and wide. All I don't know why, but you know, it's a scary movie, so it doesn't, you know, it has to be dumb. And you know, why would they do that? So, it's a scary movie, so. Um, So, Evil Dead is about both the movies, original and the remake, are about um, friends going to this cabin in the wood, woods, and they stumble across a book that's cursed, and they, I don't know, he, for some reason and somehow, the original and the remake, a person read... I don't know. I don't know. Some, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to say hieroglyphics because it's hard to pronounce. Even. It's a curse that you have to, you know, you know, Azula, Bumba Clock, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stupid words that you have to say that you, have pronounce, that you have to pronounce precisely and correctly to even open the curse. So, um, but I think in, a, I think in the original, the people, they played the sound tape. Of the curse, so that's why the curse got out in the um re uh, the original because they played um an audio tape that played the um that um that played the curse that read the curse perfectly and that would um and that was how the original I mean I mean that's how he died in original because the curse was upon them you know got a hold of some people pretty much I think he killed everybody except Ash he ended up I think Evil Dead the original one had like two three movies I think. So, um, he ended up in another dimension after the first movie for some reason. I don't know. His hand got cut off. Um, but, you know, the remake was good, too. I like the remake a little bit more because it's more modern and it's more, you know, more blood, more, you know. The original had, you know, CGI that was like, you know, of course, it was fake as hell. But, you know, it was the 80s. It was what they had at the time. So, I appreciate what they did, what they tried to do, make it a little bit scary. I mean, you know, um, Dead by Daylight. I mean, um, Dead by Dawn. I said Dead by Daylight. That's a game. But, you know, Dead by Dawn. You know what I'm saying? For the people who know about the original um, Evil Dead. Uh, number three. It, it was a movie on Netflix called Terrifier. I think that's like my favorite. I uh I don't want to say my favorite, but it's I don't know. I like it for a lot of reasons. Terrifier is about a demon clown. Um, you know, I think it takes place on Halloween actually. Um, you know, the demon clown stumbles across, you know, this a girl and her friend and you know, some other, some more people and he just kills and I think he killed everybody in the movie. So that's that's stuff I like. I think, no matter, I take that back. I think he, oh man, did he kill everybody? I think he did, or he left the main character. He stabbed up the main character, and she, I forgot, uh, I forgot. It came out in 2017. I seen it about like a, 
a year and a half. I seen it about a year ago or half a year ago, something like that. So, you know, and I haven't seen. I see only seen it about once or twice. So, and it's, you know, it's twenty. We said so we hit it in twenty twenty two, and the movie came out twenty seventeen. So, I forgot. I forgot exactly how Terrifier goes, but I think he killed everybody and left the survivor. But the survivor was just. You know what I'm saying? At that point, if you know what I'm talking about, if you know, you know, but Terrifier left the survivor and he was, the demon clown was mad about that. I'm talking about, he was mad. I mean, like he killed himself and then, you know, cause they think he's a regular person. So the um, police and ambulance do an autopsy and you know, the demon clown somehow comes alive and kills the, the, the person who was, you know, trying to see how to, trying to see what this, thing is and how it died and you know you know saying? just analyzing the body so the demon clown killed that um the analyzer of the body so um but like i said he was mad because um i think i think in the beginning um it had a great opening it had a good opening scene just to go off topic real quick my favorite horror movie opening scene is from a movie called lights out that is my that's by far my favorite opening scene of any scary horror movie like, it can't, like, a horror movie opening scene can't get no better than that, you know, and that's all I'm going to say. So, it's a movie called Lights Out, you know, you, you know just type in on YouTube or Google, type in Lights Out opening scene, or just type in Lights Out, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to say the, um, I think it's two opening scenes, not the one when they in the, um, um, facility, um, I don't know, a movie facility where all this other stuff, but the opening scene with the girl turning the lights out and she gets in her bed and the demon... Um, is in the room with her too. So, um, not not that I'm you know describing stuff like that. It's, it's way it's too many good um scary movies throughout the years. When I was younger, man, it was oh my goodness, it's too many good scary movies. But like I said, um, Dawn of the Dead, Evil Dead, and a movie called Terrifier, um, Demon Clown kills pretty much everybody. Um, the Lone Survivor was the opening scene of that movie. I think it was the opening scene was the um, the Lone Survivor, and she was just mauled. I think you know what I'm saying when people um you know you know if you um if somebody was to you know I forgot what this is called you know rake your eyes um I, I forgot I forgot what this is called I forgot what this act is called but if somebody rakes your eyes you know they actually take your eye out and then you just sitting here with you know just you alive but you. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you. I I can't live like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially just being attacked like that. I think she she was beaten. Both her eyes were out of the socket, and she's doing an interview talking about some. I survived the killer and all the other stuff, and like the demon clown got mad and he kicked the TV. But I know I know y'all probably just lost. On, I'm rambling and all this other stuff. But you know I'm trying to break it down and give y'all summaries. Um, you know what? I'm trying to break down a plot to y'all so y'all can understand why I like these movies so much. So, um, that's that. So, let's see. Dawn of the Dead, Evil Dead, Terrifier. I probably say the, this is, no, not that I'm thinking about it. These are my, my last two are my top two scary movies of all time. If I had to put them in order, it would be one and two in either order. This next one I'm thinking about is called The Conjuring. Well, I say called The Conjuring, but I'm pretty sure y'all know what The Conjuring is. Um, I like The Conjuring Universe series. I don't like all the movies now. I like Conjuring. That came, the, the first one that came out in 2013, and I, I didn't like the second one. Okay, so The Conjuring, I'm pretty sure y'all know what it is, but it's about Ed and Lorraine Warren. They're demonologists, so they help people bless their house and try to see what's going on and why they're cursed and why this ghost demon is messing with them and all this other stuff so um they did a lot um they did a lot of investigations so they're trying to put that all in the movies and hence why it's called the universe because they're trying to make more and more movies and um the ones that i really like was the first one and the last one the last one is called the conjuring the devil made me do it and that was pretty good and um it, i think it was based on true well they're all based on a true story but you know you know i think the second one uh, the second one had some hoax or something like that, but I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to waste y'all time. If y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to waste y'all time. I'm not going to have y'all sitting here for about 
Um, it's already a 15 minute video, so I'm not gonna have y'all sitting here for about 30 minutes or nothing like that trying to explain movies that y'all already know or y'all like or don't like. So, um, I like I, I just like that. Um, I like the Conjuring series a lot. Well, I don't know if I want to say the series, but I like I like the series enough to say that I like this one and that one. You know, I like the series. I think they had the Conjuring two. Uh, they had Conjuring 2 and 3. I, I didn't see 3. And I think they had a spinoff um, about The Nun. I don't think I would like The Nun. The Conjuring, The Nun. I like The Nun as a character, but as something to just, you know, what how The Nun, um, how the nun originated. I, I don't think I would like that movie. Um, I don't think... Uh, it takes place in like the... Eight, I, I forgot, but where, you know, where, where the church and... Um, in Europe, the, you know, with a priest and, you know, saying, I think 1800s where the, you know, I'm saying the big mega church, the Pope, I think the Pope church around that time where that was thriving, like the 1800s or something like that. I don't know, but I think it takes time. I think it takes place in that time period. So another reason why I probably wouldn't like it too much. And I don't think it would be too much, um, frightening, scary, too much horror. I don't think I don't think it's too much horror in that one for me. So, um, I like Conjuring. Um, matter of fact, now that I'm speaking about it, I like the um the other movie that's like that. But I can't. I don't like having two. I don't like having. You know what I'm saying when I make a top five, I don't ha I don't like having two things that are similar to one another in a top five. You know, um, I forgot what it was called. Well, the movie I'm thinking about, but I, I can't think of the name, but Ed Warren of The Conjuring plays the dad in the movie where the boy, um, I guess he's having these, I guess he had, he gets kidnapped by a demon in his nightmare, and, you know, he's in a coma, and the dad has to go into, um, I, I well, the, I, I forgot what the movie is called. It came out in 2010, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Hopefully, y'all know what I'm talking about. I think it was two movies about a little boy. She, um, a little, oh, I forgot what it was called, man. But it was, it was like The Conjuring, but I forgot what it was called. But hopefully I know what I'm talking about. It's about a little boy who gets kidnapped by a demon in his dreams and that's the, saves the, um, the boy from being in the, um, the nether realm. I'm just gonna say the nether realm. Um, you know what I'm saying? That, evil place or I don't know but like I said the boy gets kidnapped the dad has to save him and um I forgot what it's called but I like that movie but it, it, I don't I don't think I want to put it in my top five so let me see that's four okay so let me do a quick recap um Don of the Dead Evil Dead, Terrifier, The Conjuring, and my this last movie I'm about to say is my my favorite, even though it has like eight, nine, ten movies, maybe. I don't think I'll make another one. It's called I said it. I, I don't know why I'm saying it's called I'm pretty sure y'all know all of these movies except the Terrifier. I don't think y'all know about that one too much. Um Saw. I love Saw. I love everything about this. I love everything about Saw, for real. Um, the right amount of blood and gore. Um, in my opinion, um, I feel like if somebody is out to kill you and like they actually put their mind to it, like tries to set you up, they try to put you in this position, try to you know set you up or um, all this other stuff. But I like the I like the way how. Um, the jigsaw dude, not the not the puppet, but the actual jigsaw dude, the old dude. Um, I like how he gets his victims and makes them suffer because he pretty much he makes the people suffer because they did something to affect somebody else that made them suffer or made him suffer. Um in a way. So he gets the so he gets those people to he he kiss he kit I don't know. He I don't know, because he has the mega job. He knows where they stay, their mama stay, where to find them, where they work, and how to get to them, and all this other stuff. So that's why I like it, for real, because he just, he, you know what I'm saying, Jigsaw, Jigsaw dude's really on a mission to kill you, you know what I'm saying? So that's why, I, that's that's the real reason I like it that much. Um, 
I think the newest one they got is called Spyro um with um Chris Rock. Um I didn't see the I didn't see the one with Chris Rock, but I seen the one before that one called Jigsaw. Um and I think that's pretty much my top five. So and you know, conclusion, not in order. But if I had I'll probably um if I if I had to put them in order, I would probably do Saw, Conjuring, Donald the Dead, Evil Dead, and Terrifier. You know what I'm saying? You know, for people who like the scary gore horror movies, you know what I'm saying? that's a good top five. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hear no top five with no Halloween. No, how they've been making Halloween since 1973, 78. So, and I think Halloween then, I don't know, like, nine plus movies. I understand Saw has that many movies, but Halloween been coming out since the 70s. And I, and I, I never seen any of them, but I, I think I heard, I heard a spoiler talking about some, he, um, Jason survived at the end of the the new movie, so and it's, as I mean stuff like that. Hollywood executives just gotta let stuff die down. Halloween not breaking no type of box office numbers just because y'all gonna keep on dropping Halloween every two, four, or however long. Um, they wanna space out the Halloween series. It 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 Halloween not doing numbers like that. Um, a couple of honorable mentions. I love it. The first one and the second one. I like how. I don't like the original one, but I like the one that came out in 2017 and 2019, I think, the um second it came out. Um, I love it. I love the fact that the um some type of it's it is an is another demon clown or from some other realm on earth. Um the plot about no well the I'm pretty sure y'all know the plot about it. It is about every thirty years the clown comes to a small city in Rhode Island or it just comes to the real world every 30 years. But I think it just comes to Rhode Island or whatever small city um, in a, I think it's in Rhode Island, Greenville and Rhode Island. I don't know, but somewhere in Rhode Island, the clown comes every 30 years to, you know, feast upon kids and all this other stuff. I like the grudge. I used to, I used to be able to make the grudge noise. Um, when I was younger, it would be like, hold on, let me see, hold on, let me see, let me see if I can do it, I haven't, I haven't done it in a while, it, hold on, <laughs> hold on, let me take it real quick. <coughs> oh no, I think I gotta edit that one, but it goes something like this. So yeah, um, I like it. The Grudge. What other honorable mentions? Scary movies can I throw in there? I don't know. It's a lot to it's a lot to choose from. And I this movie is uh, I said this movie this video creeping up on twenty three twenty five minutes. So I'm gonna end it in like a couple minutes. But you know that's my top five, not in order. But if I did, I just gave y'all I just gave y'all my order if I had to rank them. So. That's pretty it. That's pretty much it. My top five horror square scary movie horror movies. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna probably do another top five about a movie category or or just another top five um that I can think of. So that's pretty much it. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Like I said, we're creeping up on a hunt. Well, I'm creeping up. Because I don't know if y'all even watch my stuff. But if y'all do, salute to you. I appreciate it. Really do. Um, That's pretty much the video. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I appreciate y'all for watching.